All right. We should be live now. Yep. So picked or picked. I always say picked for some reason. If you go to your chat, I mean to the self promotion channel, you'll see it in a sec. Tome stream. Okay. So yeah, if you write in the chat there, um, I'll see it. Sup, Miss Love. How's it going? So I guess we're going to do a, a necromancy one, right? Let's see. So, male or female? Hmm. Chat, help me out here. Oh, yeah, your family's moving. Right. The question is if we're a Cheb or a Chebina. A fucking Chebina. <laughs> <laughs> fucking a what? You what, mate? You what, mate? Fucking Chebina. Fucking Shanky, mate. Fucking damn yeah. Oh, fucking you have your fam. What would a Chav uh, female be called if the name was Cheb? How would you Cheb? How would you female Chavify it? Um, Chebby. Like with an I, probably Chebby. Yeah, something like that. Sorry. Right. Oh, you're going over fucking Chebby's tonight, yeah, mate. We're going over fucking Chebby's, aren't we? <laughs> All right, let's do that. We'll go human. Okay. We've got a Chebby. And where in London or whatever do these people come from? Yeah, what the hell, dude? Not enough gender options there. Okay. Um, I guess we need willpower. I don't really remember what this class needs. Call of the Crypt. That is the skeleton summoning one. And this is the zombie summoning one. We don't need any direct damage stuff. We're doing it hard mode. But we will get a dread. And then, yeah, we'll... I remember Ghost Walk being really good. Okay. Chebby. Now, is it with sad movement? I don't remember. It is. Okay, good. Oh, shit. Oh shit, that's not me. Save me, Skeleton. That was a close call. There was a button to wait. What was it now? Uh, Z. Okay, good. We're gonna need more Skeletons for sure. I should probably be using the, the numpad for this. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah, willpower. Yeah, that's true. I usually just uh, use the Z when I want to rest, because it, it's just easier. 
because then it also walks for me. That's the weird thing about these roguelikes, is they kind of play themselves in some ways. So, Miss Love, are you picked? I think you are, right? Okay. That's a really Croatian name we got. Cool. <laughs> I forgot how you level up. I thought it was L, but that's just bringing up some weird shit here. I guess I can just click that. Get more skeletons and get more ghost walk. P. Okay, so P opens it. Was it ever L, or am I completely misremembering that? <clears throat> hmm, yeah, must be thinking of a different game. Oh shit, now how do I change levels? Is it these arrow brackets? No, it's not. Space? No, it should be the arrow keys. Oh, okay, I've got to shift. Press shift and do it. Kind of shameful, but you know that troll that appears in this kind of area? I have died once or twice to that troll. The big one near the pond. If that's still a thing. Yeah, those four chan arrows, I think they're called angle brackets. So what we'll do today is we'll go until I die. So it'll be like a true roguelike stream. If I die, it's all over. What's the stream just instantly stop the moment you die? Yep, I'll just instantly yank the power cable out of my computer. And that'll be over. We need a, we need a trained mama set at the back yeah. to, to do it. That's a code word. I've actually got one of those like capuchin monkeys, you know them? And I've trained him so that the moment I give a certain facial expression, he's just going to tear the cable right out of the computer. God, imagine if you imagine if you're just like, after the stream's all over and shit, and you're doing really important work, and you get really frustrated, so you pull the face, and the monkey just fucking pulls the cord before you save anything. Yeah. And I've got a lot of self-control, so... When that facial expression <laughs> comes, it's like, it's real serious. What, what expression is it? It's kind of hard to describe. It's an expression that only a monkey can really appreciate. Come face. Yeah, it's kind of like the soy boy face, you know, the soy face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's not a face that I typically do, so uh, it works really well. Oh, 
I'm going back on fucking Minecraft now. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to find a good mod pack. The problem with the problem with like doing mod packs is that certain mods are coded really really shit compared to others. So, like quite a few mods are done really really well, right? Like they'll be done because uh, they're passion projects, so the code will be pretty quite decent for it. Nine times out of ten, it'll be, it'll be decent. But there's a few, like Oz Magica Two, for example, where the guy's like, "Yeah, fuck that." I'm, I'm gonna fucking like you know you know how you have houses. You'll have one house that will be immaculately made, nice, lovely carpet. There's all the decorations, all the all the fluff, like all of the things to make it a nice, homely home, right? And yep. then down the street you've got that fucking crack then, all the coppers been torn out of the walls and there's a fucking car in the living room, right? But it still works as as a house, yeah. Oz, Oz Medica 2 is Oz Medica 2 is that. Vaults uh, run Anders at a certain point. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's a great way to get killed. Yes. What did you do? No, no, no. But entering the vaults is pretty dangerous. Another great way to get killed is to do these stupid quests to save these dumb people, because they just love to run off and get you killed. See, like, look at where, fucking off way up there. I wish you could tell them to wait or something. Maybe you can. Picked, can you tell them to wait? Can you command these imbeciles? Inspect, give order, you can. Okay, so you can tell them to wait. That's good. There's the portal up there. Oh shit, a white wolf. Oh shit, a black wolf. Oh shit, it's time to ghost walk. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, there's a black wolf there, that's great. I think that woman made it to the portal, didn't she? Oh, she, there she is. Okay, get in the portal. You dummy, get in the portal. I'm waiting. Get in the fucking portal. Finally. Okay, let's get... Hmm. I think magic is probably a good idea. Yeah, Sun Paladin, disgusting. Yeah, let's get magic. You may not remember, but like way, way in the prehistory of the Cheb channel, I actually made a, a necromancy mod for this game. Long before the necromancy got overhauled. Wait, did... seriously? Yeah. It's, um... <laughs> Yeah, I took it down because it's completely out of date and it no longer works or anything, but if you watch my really old videos, you can see it in action. It's a time capsule. Yeah. There's that badass troll I was talking about. Okay, so the first... Um, also has been taken care of. So it's like the first way you can die is getting wrecked by that guy. Shattered remains. Oh, we can get a bone giant now. It's this one. Okay. Yeah. I never actually tried that official 
um, well, not official, but that really popular necromancy mod, because I just used my own one. And it was, like, tailor-made to me and what I want, so I just played that. But I don't think many people used my mod, because I, I never put it up on anywhere but GitHub. And you had to manually install it and stuff. And I think the, the other one was probably better, so most people chose that one. Hey, is Nick. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this. I love this fight. I always do well in this one. This second troll guy. I'm gonna move this to my normal inventory. I'll give that to the mages. the dude in here being pretty strong. There he is. Hello. We got, we got him. Hey, is that you, Rusky? That's me. Awesome. We've just survived two filters, so like the two things that people usually get killed by, we overcome them, so... We're doing good. Thanks, Plum. I've never played this game. Yeah, it's um Oh now I can use the rod of recall to get out of here, I remember. It's it's a good one. It's probably the best roguelike to play as your first roguelike. Because it's just very forgiving but also very difficult. It looks really good. Does it cost anything? Um, it's free, but if you buy it on Steam, then you get the paid expansion pack or whatever. Oh, I might do that then. Yeah. It's time to do the arena. Yep, I'm strong. Let's go. Oh, paid DLCs as well? Yeah. Yeah. I'm done. I mean, this game looks really good. And I think the necromancy looks solid, too. So. It is solid, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. This is Pick's favorite game. <clears throat> I can tell. He seems very passionate. Yeah. It's a great game. I love crafting in class. That sounds pretty badass. I might have to give that a go. Yeah. The story. It's true, and I'll buy the game. It looks fantastic. Yeah, the story is really difficult. Like, I've never completed it. That's good, though. I like that. Yeah. Okay, let's get, let's get out of here. Cultist of Entropy. Alright, sounds good. What the hell is this stuff? Picks. I've got some weird stuff surrounding me. I've never seen that before. This kind of icy stuff. Don't remember that at all. Oh, he's confused too. Oh no. That's scary. <laughs> Maybe we found a bug. <coughs> the expert is confused. That's how you know you fucked up. Yeah. Look, I've got it. What the hell is that? That is so weird. It must be some special effect. Oh, it's the boots the I wore. Passes. Yeah. Frost treads. Each step casts a, f a ground frost effect. I didn't realize that would happen on the main map too, though. That's weird. This place can be dangerous. I've died a couple of times in this place.
All right, I bought the game. Cool. Yeah, you'll probably love it, actually. It seems like a game I'd really enjoy, so, right. Yeah, I got obsessed with it for a while. Not quite picked level obsessed, but, like, decently obsessed. That's fair enough. I think pick level obsessed is, like, dangerous. Yeah. Borderline dangerous. Yeah. It has a great item system. Yeah. Hmm. It's just great all round, honestly. Like, just really well made, well thought out, well executed. Uh, okay. If somebody watched Adventure Time, it's like the, that episode where they're exploring the train. <laughs> Every I item. watched that show for years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the train episode was the episode that I liked the most. When Finn finds unique items every level. So, <laughs> yeah. If you really want to upset picked, then just like pretend to hate this game. You're guaranteed to upset him. Alright, then I'll like find some like some like minor thing I don't like about the game. I just mention it constantly. Yeah. For me, it's the the graphics. I'm not too keen on on the way it's done. True. That's fair. They look cool to me. It's not the worst. It's just like to me, it looks like someone took a high res image and just scaled it way down. Still better than uh, Dungeon Soup. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is cursed. It could just offer text mode, though. I'd be happy with that. Then my imagination would take over. I think that's the thing that people don't realize about the text mode is that um, it's a bit like reading a book because you've only got like symbols and stuff to go off then you start like imagining what these things should look like in like your mind and it's pretty cool like that I really yeah. hate text mode I don't understand anything that looks like text <laughs> I really don't like it Maybe you just have to get used to it. Maybe. I found that it helps if you read, like, manga or something. <clears throat> like, fantasy type stories with pictures. Because a lot of the time, reading stuff like that will actually, like, help you visualize when you play or read text-based things. Yeah. I think that moron went some other direction. Like down south or something. He's probably gonna die. Oh, there he is. He went up. To the dickhead. Well, he might survive long enough. Okay, good, he survived. What do you think we should get picked? Maybe the Constitution? Oh, you can import images. I didn't know that. I did check out the mods. It's a lot of mods, and they seem relatively decent. Yeah. Uh, what game? Ah, uh, for, for this, this one. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, a lot of mods. There's a really a pretty cool Death Knight mod. Oh, neat. Mm. That looks like a strong skeleton. There's another strong skeleton up there. Yeah. 
I'm trying to think what's killed me the most in this game. I think, like, usually I die in the sewers. You know the sewers? Um, where the lich is? There's, like, a lich in the sewers. I often die at that point. And then before that, like, after that, I usually get killed in that top part of the map. There's, like, this weird tree or something in the top part of the map. And it's, like, almost at the end of the game, and I've never gotten past that. Yeah. Is there, like, a hard limit on minions or anything? There is. When you have <laughs> when you have enough, the thing gets grayed out and you can't make any more. I don't know exactly like what the limit is though, but it's like what you see here, I think. Also I keep no. forgetting. I can make a golem, I'm pretty sure, somehow. Don't remember how though. Or maybe that's in the next skill. Oh yeah, this is the next one, never mind. Okay. I think the graveyard killed me the most in this game. Oh, yeah, that that is also a really difficult spot. Yeah, that that woman is so hard. Yeah, she is. Uh, the boss of the dungeon. That or water when I have to go to the sunken city. The base, the place that will be my base later. Yeah, that's a tough one. I agree. You get a so, base? Yeah. 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 What the fuck? Yeah, it... but it's underwater, so it's... The water can literally kill you if you stay too long. If you don't have an item that lets you water breathe. Yeah. Pretty cool though, I like that. It is really cool. <coughs> yeah. This is my first time playing in like a couple of years now. I think the last time I played this was when I made the video. Oh shit, I got yonked. Years, huh? Oh crap. Is it over for me this soon? Oh, this is not good. Oh fuck. <laughs> you see that achievement? Killed your target while only having one life left. But I don't think it's over for me yet, though. I mean, I'm not sure I'm out of it yet, though, because look at all these dragons everywhere. Oh, man. I think you're dead. Yeah. We'll see. I might be able to survive somehow. I've got two skeletons guarding me. Oh, that was so close. Holy shit. We did it. Did you see that picked? Yeah, you're right. I should have gotten the teleporter in. But I do have ghost walk. I told you, man, this place can be dangerous. I've lost a character or two in this place. There's like a badass mage down here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's a warrior. Oh, okay. Isn't there one with a mage that's similar to this? Yeah, that's uh, Deadfoot. I oh. think that's called. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this one has a cursed paladin or something like that. I don't remember the story. Story. Yeah. That's him over there. Yeah. Cool. We did it. Okay. Should level up before I carry on.
Another thing I die a lot to is the Orc Warlock, when you get to that point. Like the Orc Necromancers and stuff, they're really tough. Okay, we're done. We actually survived that place. Hmm. No runes. Okay, Picked, where can I get some runes from? Do I have to buy them in that little town? Randomly. Okay. I always keep a yellow item for that guy. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think there's any point to go there, is there? Not uh, not now. Yeah. Later you get a quest to kill some stone mage. Oh shit, an adventure party. This place can be dangerous too. This is one of my favorite levels though. Sometimes there's like meteors and stuff in it, like in a really fiery area. I don't know if you get that every time. I just sent Rambles a shit ton of like fucking Minecraft modded shit now to like <laughs> how you can make spells and shit like that. So either they're gonna look at it and go, oh that's pretty neat, or they're gonna look at it and go, why do I have two hundred messages in my DMs? <laughs> Probably the latter. Yeah. Probably. There's someone else in the server that's really Minecraft crazy. Maybe it's Two. Ewok. Might be Ewok. What version do they play? Do you know? Oh, I don't know, but they've got suggestions on what mods you should play in mm. the... I think Electro I mean... is one of them. It's much... Hold on. Uh... I could pull, I could pull it in. So Electro Blobs is good, it's just that the path of progression is really, really, really annoying. Oh yeah? Why is that? Um, so the way in which it works when it comes to progression, so with like something like ours, you level up, uh, you do spells, you level up, you get skill points, you can spend these skill points, you can make more spells, so, it's, so on and so forth. With foam, you're studying and researching and doing all that shit. You're making things, studying them, learning what they're made out of, using that to make more shit. With electro blobs, it's very um, different. So, it's the path to progression is awkward in that you don't really have any of these things at the very start to help you unlock shit. It's more that you have a bunch of dungeon. Uh, Drops, loot, and NPCs to talk to in order to get in order to advance. So you'll find these towers that generate randomly Ooh. as part of, the, part of the world gen. And inside of them, you'll find like wizards and shit. And the uh, the idea Did is that you either die? kill them. I almost died. Yeah. And the idea is that you either kill them to get the book that they drop if they drop a book, or you trade with them and give them things they want, and you can get multiple books. But it's entirely RNG based. 
So, and there's so many fucking spells as well. There's so many fucking spells. And some of them are really, really, really fucking nice. Um, and quite thematic and quite nice looking. Um, so, you don't know what you're going to get. So, like, in my experience, you could spend hours after hours after hours searching, trying to find these plants to then trade with them. Um, so on and so forth. Yeah, I don't like cards for magic. Oh no, that's electro blobs. Yeah, electro blobs wizardry. I found that when you come, like, I um... like the blobs. That's cool. I like the blobs. It's cool. Is electro blobs even in this? What I like to do is when people discuss that mod. I come up with a new way to say the electro blob thing. I say electro bulb, yeah. electro blob, and nobody ever corrects uh, me on it. Elect electro bobs. Yeah. F thunderbolts. <laughs> Fours. Fours nuts. Yeah. Yeah, the, there is one spell in there that does let you summon like an undead legion. The problem though is that they will attack you. Mm. Yeah, that's. So you need to. You need to do it, and then you need to get the fuck out of dodge as quick as possible. You just need to fuck straight off. Am I correct in saying that, generally speaking, Minecraft is pretty shit necromancy mods? There are yeah. some good ones. There are some good ones, don't get me wrong. There are some, like, uh, the necromancy mods, for example. You actually do custom make your own ones. You do, like, take body parts and you do, like, sew those and stitch them together, and then you make your own monstrosities. Thanks. It's kind of shit still. It's kind of shit. They're yeah, but if really you make enough good. of them, if you make enough of them, you can one shot bosses. Yeah, but you can do that with Overlord, then that mod is not really good either. Yeah, that mod is buggy. I tried it. It's really buggy. Wait, is that is the, uh, the Overlord one? Is that the one where you summon like those little minions? Yeah, the little baby skeletons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The minions will just you disappear. You have normal skeletons too. Yeah. At the higher level, right? You got to make a more advanced thingy. The best, the best one for like doing good necromancy shit, and I've and I've done I've done this for people um, that have like min max themselves into punching people with the just with no weapons. They just hit people, and it crashes them and uh, corrupts their play data. Like they've min max themselves to that extent. Wow. And i found that there are um, Undead from Witchery, Spectres and Banshees, mostly Spectres that you can get. Oh uh, are... yeah, Witchery yeah. is a good mod. Yeah. Like, Witchery is fucking great for that. Yeah, and... yeah, Witchery has good necromancy, but still, it's it's mostly Banshees or uh, Wraiths. Skeletons uh, are kind of shit. Yeah, the skeletons, like, the zombies are shit. The banshees aren't very good. The spectres are fantastic, but the banshees are very easy to counter. They're not... They're not great. They're still more useful than the skeletons or the zombies. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and also which lets you astral project your spirit and shit like that. Mm, yeah, and you can use the wooded dolls, which is much yes. better. The voodoo, like, people keep hopping on about the voodoo dolls and the curses. That is not the worst thing you can actually do with witchery. It's the most common thing, and that's what people focus on, because it's the most common, and it's the most, oh my god, it's voodoo dolls, it's voodoo dolls kind of shit, because they imagine the worst. You can do a lot nah. worse. You can do a lot worse. There is there is a lot worse you can do with it. And I should know, because I've, I've done it to a few people quite easily. Uh, the voodoo dolls are best to keep you alive. You can make Horcruxes literally yeah. fill them yeah. life. Holy and shit! You basically yeah. cannot die. So the way that it works yeah. is that um, there are, you have these things called poppets. Let me actually go into the search and get them up right now. So you have poppets. Uh, you have a tag lock kit. So you know how you have like uh, skin samples, right? A sample of hair, um, a bit of skin, a bit of blood. Some that's a tag lock essentially. It's like yeah. a skin tag of the person. Um, and you can then make the you can then make a pop hit or a doll, and you can put the tag lock in the doll. Uh, so if these are protection ones, so you'll have earth protection. So if you fall to your death, then you're fine. Water protection, so you don't drown. Fire protection, hunk protection, tool protection, so your tools don't get destroyed. Death protection, which is the big one. 
is voodoo protection. So if someone does a voodoo on you, then the voodoo one gets consumed instead. Then you have the voodoo ones. Then there's vampiric, uh, poppet protection, armor protection, so on and so forth. And you've got a shelf, which is a chunk loader that you can put the dolls inside of. And then you've got a compass that you can use to find other people's shelves. It's quite, it's quite nice, it's quite good. Um, death protection yeah. is the best one, because if you die, oh, then, shit. The, then the death protection is consumed instead. I did and not want to do yeah. that. I'm dead! It's over for me. Oh, no. He's not run over. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, I've still got lives, but... Oh. I guess I can just keep going until all my lives are out. I don't know. I, don't, I typically don't do that. Once it's done, it's done. Um, so oh. something that you can do is you can make a dupli an automatic duping machine to make uh, pop uh, to make death protection profits. You can just have these game. constantly being fed into a shelf. So whenever you die, the shelf is constantly replenished, so you can't die. Yeah, but there are still how there are far still, did you get? Like in this there game? are still ways to kill you. Um, I got to level eleven. Is that a lot? I've never played that. No, 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 not really. It's really no. beginning stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. He died really quickly. I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's because I'm not the best. Um, it's okay. I guess I'll. Mm, do I want to continue? Not really, honestly. Actually, check. Do you want me to show you the undead and shit? Okay, sure. But what am I gonna stream next then? If not this. Hmm, a different roguelike? Hmm. Chat, what should I do? Alright, here we go. Pex must be fuming right now. Yeah, I'm gonna check what other roguelikes I've got. So, there is a... What's it? Man, what's that other one called? Soul... Soul Lash? Soul Lash. Soul Lash, yeah. Yeah, Soul Lash. takes a long time, though. Yeah, um... So you can just simply put puppets in a shelf and shit like that. Wait, who's actually... Who's watching? Oh, Rusky's watching. So you, can I put, could... you can put shit in a shelf. And I could do something. Caves of Kud. That's a really good one. Yeah, there's two Caves of Kud. Holy shit, I love that game. Do you guys know about I it? I can't believe I'm actually watching Minecraft as well as the theme. <laughs> I know about Kids of Code. I heard I saw it from a friend, but I've never uh, played it myself. Well, I watched uh, that theme. Uh, that theme video about Kids of Code. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'll show yeah, you guys. It's really funny. So, I got killed by... Does it tell me? Usually it does. I guess it doesn't. Usually these games tell you what, what killed you. Alright, time for Caves of Kud. Just change it to... Caves of Kud. Can you guys see everything? I think so, right? Uh, yeah. The music is really nice in this, but it's a bit loud. Okay. Do you know about this game, Picked? It's really great. Um, let's do a classic run. I want to do a new character. I want to be a mutant. Um... There's one which is really good for the build I'm thinking of. 
I believe it is the first one. The Apostle, yeah. Important mutations we want. I don't care about anything much except for getting the plant one. Where is that now? It's called... I've forgotten what it's called. Um, is it burgeoning? Yes, you can cause plants to spontaneously grow. And beguiling is also really nice. It allows us to get a minion. Aside of that, with our remaining four points, teleport other can be really good. Um, the final one. What's clairvoyance do? That's also a good one, actually. But we'll check out the physical mutations. We could get a beak. That'll give us some ego and some bird rep. Um, slime glands is fun. Does you spit stuff? Thick fur. Hmm. So how much necromancy does this game have? It has none. A but... non-necromantic game that have like must be grown. Yeah, it's a good game. Let's do night vision and beak. Because the ego will help us with our magic. Well, it's not really magic, but it is kind of magic. Uh, basically, this is a game, it's like a post-apocalyptic game, like Fallout. And you can choose to be either a mutant or something called a Trukin, I think they're called. And that's like the humans, and they don't get on. So, we need more Ego. And what else do we need? I don't actually know. Let's just bring all our shit into the green. And then we'll decide what we can be weak at. Okay, so we want as much ego as possible. Yeah, that's good. Next. Yep, so we're a mutated human with a beak, night vision, beguiling, burgeoning, and teleport other. Name, I don't care about that. Our starting location. Hmm. I think we should always start in Joppa because that's the beginning area and it's the easiest one. Now this game is like super hard. The chances of me just getting killed are really high. I'm closing the door so I can rob this chest. Yep, we'll take all this shit. Alright, so I've got the automated poppets set up going. So, constantly I've got poppets uh, replacing the old ones so you can't die through conventional means. That's great. There's all kinds of shit I want to show. Um, fucking a lot of background noise there. Yeah. So in this game, money is is water because everyone's dying of thirst. Because there's nothing but salty water and stuff. Oh, you only could? Yeah. Now, how does this work again? I think it's plus. Yeah, plus key. I usually um, carry lots of slugs and bullets, even if I don't need them, because they're a cheap, light way of having value in your inventory. 
And I generally also have a few guns and I shoot stuff. Oh yeah, we can get a musket. That's a good thing to have. Um, as for all this shit, we don't need torches because we've got night vision. Um, we don't really need furs or gloves. Get rid of that shit. Never mind, if anti zombie blew it up. Get rid of all this crap. Okay. This will get a lot more interesting in a sec once I get out into the wilderness. But first, talk to this merchant fellow here. Because he can give me quests that will give me points and stuff. A, yes. So he just wants weird artifacts and you can just give him shit. And that completes the quest and gives you XP. So I got a level up just because I was lucky enough to have some knickknacks in my inventory. But you don't always um, have that opportunity. Now, how did I level up in this game? Is it C? No. Um, shit, I don't remember how that works. I'm gonna have to go to the key mapping. Open inventory is I, open skills is P. Okay, so just like in Tome. So we can get any of these things. I think a good one to get would be probably... Hmm. I don't know, honestly. Let's just get nothing for now. It's got a really interesting art style, in my opinion. This is kind of like ASCII, but also not. Oh, there's a crocodile. Okay, it's time to put our plants down. Now, how do we do that again? Our abilities are down here, but I don't remember how to use them without using the mouse. Oh, well, I'll just use the mouse then. So we summon those plants, and among them is a spitting plant that will spit at that crocodile. But the vines are attacking it. Our vines killed the crocodile. Isn't that awesome? What do you think, people? You're basically a plant man, sir. I think my stream died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My screen is frozen. I can't see anything. You might want to try pressing a five. Um, Pick says that if you want to play a mage, the psychic focused mutant build is the way to go. Yeah, that's true. Also, he has to go. He has to go? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Well... Hysterical non-agent, it's not difficult to separate salt from water in real life. You just have to find a way to evaporate it. And then condense it again. So you can have, like, even stuff like um, a plastic container with, like, a tarp over it or whatever will work. You can also like take tree tree leaves and put them in a plastic bag and then leave them in the sun and the sun will cook the moisture out and it will collect in the bag. You can do stuff like that. Uh, 
Oh, yes, a goat. Oh, a baboon. Dying baboon. Holy shit. I just want to make this guy my friend. Beguile the creature. How would that work? Can't even control my character. I'll just beat the baboon to death. Oh, now it worked. Okay, fine. Yeah? Hey. I'm still streaming. <laughs> I'm probably gonna die. But I do have you a friend a baboon. Man. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. This yeah. game is awesome. Yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, I'm running away. Oh, I got a lip lock. Yeah. My friend Baboon has died. That's rough. You will find another one. Yeah. If I survive at all, it is. Right, my headset's nearly dead. It needs to be charged, so I'll probably be <laughs> either got... not talking or whatever. Okay, sure. I'm gonna try beguiling that baboon that's after me. <laughs> I'm oh. gonna try beguiling the baboon. <laughs> I'm actually gonna beguile this. Um. This uh, dragonfly. So it's going to kill the baboon for me. I think it did. Another thing is I forgot I've got a shotgun or whatever. A musket. We'll equip it. And um, we'll load it. Musket. We want to load it. Okay. I've forgotten how you shoot the damn thing though. Oh, it is down there with F. Okay. There's the bastard. So we can at least do our burgeoning now. Take that, baboon. How do you pronounce Tom? Like the actual name of it? I think it's Tales of Majael. I'm gonna do my first game of that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting shot at. I blasted them with the with the musket there. Our dragonfly is gonna take them out. I shot him again. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Ooh! Holy shit. Yeah, I believe that's right, Hysterical Non-Agent. I believe that's right. That it was originally something about Middle Earth, but then they changed it because of the copyright stuff, probably. Hmm. Oh, those bastard baboons. Oh, I change levels. There we go. Okay. This dragonfly is really awesome.
It's just killing all the shit for us. Does he? He's awesome, right? Sound neat little minion. Very adorable. Yeah. What do you think of this game, Rusky? Mm, I'll be honest. Like, graphics is a relatively important deal for me. Right. And, like, it needs to be readable, and this game isn't that readable for me. Like, Soul Lash is, like, bordering on the edge of it, and this game, I think, crossed it for me. Well, Soul Lash is, like, it was originally graphicless. Yeah, I know that. And it's, it's the same with, um, Dwarf Fortress, but that got released on Steam, and now the graphics are pretty good. But this game, I don't think it's for me, personally. But it looks cool, and it looks like it has a lot of content. Yeah, maybe if you could find a graphics pack for it or something. It does have graphics, so it's just ASCII like kind of drawings, I suppose. It does. Yeah, it does. It's just uh, not my type of game. But yeah. I can definitely see the. Uh, what would you call it? Like the appeal. The appeal of it. Yeah, it's a really unique game. I kind of forgotten how to play it though. I don't know. Looks better than Dwarf Fortress in its early days. Oh, for sure. Yeah. In my opinion, this game has nice graphics. has a nice art style, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's playable, but I don't know. You don't like it either? Mm, I like it, but I have to have a certain mindset to play it, right? Um, mm, yeah. Right state of mind, I don't know. But I heard it has some cool stuff. It does, yeah. There's a lot of complexity and stuff to it. Yeah. It's really difficult as well. Yeah, I heard you can die really quickly. Yeah, you can, for sure. But um, I feel like the minions build with this is pretty good. As long as you're happy with having plants and being able to mind control various creatures. Like I've got a dragonfly, right? And then at any point in time I can summon a plant army. Is this yeah. someone there? I hear this weird sound on the mic. Uh, my phone was ringing, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Uh, let's make some plants to fight that plant. Oh, we can mutate, okay. Yeah, whatever. Teleportation sounds good. I would love if it had necromancy, but mind control is also good. For yeah. me, at least. I was trying to Taking find... Over... Sorry, go Taking on. Taking over the creeps uh, sounds a lot of fun. Yeah. I was trying to find necromancy mods for this, but there aren't really any. Who knows, maybe the developer will make them. Maybe. At least we have pyramids of death. Oops, I killed my own guy. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess now that I've showed you all this game, I'm kind of not feeling like playing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of know how that feels, so... though. Yeah. Yeah. I conveniently yeah, died. How fantastic. I'm yeah. free. <laughs> I think you need to have a certain mind, uh, state of mind to play it. Yeah, you do. So... It's... It's another game you need a long I break. I would never touch it. Maybe in a few days or months, mm. I would play it. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Well, we've had two roguelikes. We've died in both of them right at the in the beginning, like a noob. <laughs> so that's great. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty tired. I guess we did a lot of streaming today. Yeah, I think you did a lot of. Warhammer, so... Yeah. Alright. See you, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for streaming. Oh, you, didn't, for... you didn't miss too much, Stealth. You missed me being a noob and dying in Tome. And then dying in this game like a noob as well. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Bye. Until... Bye. Bye. -bye.